Players of first-person shooter games are familiar with the tag-and-shoot mechanic, where the player selects a target or series of marks on his screen, and the game then automatically fires and hits the objective. That same idea has been surprisingly taken into real-world combat with the recent creation of the Tracking Point Rifle, a powerful, intelligent weapon that allows the user to simply tag the targets on its visor, and the gun then automatically shoots with the precision of a seasoned sniper. Using a state-of-the-art sensor array and patented computer algorithms, the rifle can determine the exact moment when the target is in the ideal spot, with the perfect angle and best wind conditions to achieve a hit. During testing, the unique weapon has demonstrated that it can even help a person who has never held a rifle before hit a target up to 900 meters away without having to go through years of training and experience. Still, despite its incredible features, the unprecedented rifle has faced severe criticism, and some experts believe that the technology represents a significant risk to public safety, especially if the algorithm malfunctions. A smart rifle. The Tracking Point Corporation took the world by storm when it unveiled the concept of an intelligent rifle that couldn't miss back in 2011. According to company lore, John McHale, an already successful entrepreneur, was hunting gazelle when he missed a 300-yard shot. The event unsettled McHale, and the idea of an aim-assisted weapon immediately jolted him. Such an idea had precedent, as military fighter aircraft already used lock and launch technology that allowed the pilots to tag a target and have the weapon system do the more delicate calculation for them. Consequently, the businessman assembled a team of experienced engineers, programmers, and weapon designers and created a startup based in Austin, Texas. Early prototypes of the rifle showcased how the user could easily choose a target in the rifle's sights, while the weapon decided when it was the best time to shoot by automatically calculating the surrounding factors, such as wind speed, arm shake, recoil, air temperature, humidity, and the bullet's drop due to gravity. This function gave the shooter the precision of a lifelong sniper. Smart Design The Intelligent Rifle was designed with a unique tracking system incorporated into a computer running the open-source Linux operating system, a laser rangefinder, a camera, and a high-resolution color display inside an added sighting scope mounted on top of the weapon. The shooter simply needed to look through the sight and press a button once the laser illuminated his desired target, then the rifle did the rest. The smart weapon runs an algorithm using image processing procedures to keep track of the target as it moves, keeping the laser dot digitally painted on the same point. The computer then raises the pressure required to pull the trigger, only lowering it when the rifle's crosshairs are right over the laser dot. The bullet is then fired at the exact moment when the chances of a hit are most probable. The innovative design, marketed to the general public in the United States, also had another crucial feature, a Wi-Fi connection. With this added capability, the user and their companions could link their smartphones and tablets to the device and see the targeting system in action and in real time. During an extended testing period, the weapon showed remarkable performance, allowing complete gun novices to accurately hit targets 500 to 900 meters away with relative ease, even when they or the targets were moving. The impressive demonstrations led to increased media attention. Videos, articles, and stories suddenly appeared all over the internet, describing the incredible features of the Tracking Point Rifle. For a few months, the world seemed fixed on the idea of an intelligent, auto-aiming weapon. Hidden Trouble Due to its early success, Tracking Point managed to sell over a thousand smart rifles during the first years of production, starting in 2013. However, an avalanche of criticism began to overwhelm the small company soon. Gun experts and military advisors began to express serious concerns about allowing the public to access computer-assisted weapons, especially when an independent organization had not thoroughly researched the technology. 
Many detractors worried that the emerging technology could easily malfunction and be tampered with, leading the user to risk the lives of innocent people and bystanders. Many hunters' organizations also opposed the project, which was a significant blow to tracking point as the rifle aimed mainly at a hunting market. These groups argued that hunting was a sport, and taking the targeting skill out of the equation was equivalent to cheating in any other discipline. Tracking Point disregarded the criticisms, while it continued to polish and develop a better version of its targeting algorithms, and pushed even harder to sell its novel rifle in more significant numbers. When journalists directly pointed out the risks of a smart gun falling into the wrong hands, company spokesmen simply argued that the steep $22,000 price for one weapon would make it difficult for most civilians to acquire it. From the outside, Tracking Point could not be doing better. They were shipping their weapons, expanding to produce other rifles in different price ranges, and they were even in talks with the Remington Corporation for a joint project where the huge weapons manufacturer would buy a large amount of specialized computer-aided scopes for a brand new rifle model. However, on the inside, the company was in utter disarray. Employees were scrambling to meet unrealistic deadlines and sometimes had to work 14 to 26 hour shifts to meet the demands of their employers. As Tracking Point failed one deadline after another, it would go through three CEOs in three years while laying off half its employees as it faced an ever harsher financial situation. Soon, even the deal with Remington seemed at risk of collapsing as the historic weapons manufacturer was delivered faulty scopes written with bugs and performance issues. A Double-Edged Sword With only a fraction of its original employees and struggling to make ends meet, the ending of Tracking Point and its once revolutionary smart rifle would come in 2015, after alarming reports surfaced showing that the weapon could easily be hacked and its targeting system tampered with. The Wi-Fi connection, once a remarkable feature, had turned out to be the Achilles heel of the unique smart rifle. Apparently, the Linux-based system could easily be modified from a device connected to the weapon. Once linked, the hacker could modify the targeting parameters, shooting criteria, and safety ranges without the shooter knowing, potentially leading to unfortunate results. Lacking any military-grade cybersecurity system, the rifle's computer was as easy to hack as a home internet router. The discovery caused overwhelming media backlash, finally pushing Tracking Point over the edge. The few contracts it had left were cancelled, and the company was forced to halt production. No detailed explanation of the cancellation was given, and Tracking Point merely published a message on its website that read, quote, Due to financial difficulty, Tracking Point will no longer be accepting orders. Thank you to our customers and loyal followers for sharing in our vision. The world was left to wonder what could have been, and if the rifle could have fared any better if it had been focused on a military application. The only data that remains is what resulted from those preliminary tests that shocked the world by turning a gun novice into a sniper with the press of a button. Thank you for watching our video. Do you think civilians should have access to computer-aided guns? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons if you enjoyed this story. And for more fascinating history-inspired content, check out our other Dark Documentaries channels. Stay tuned.